Hi, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. On our channel, we have instructional videos teaching you how to play Viticulture 2nd Edition and its expansion Tuscany by Stonemaier Games. If you haven't seen those and you'd like to check them out, I'll put links to both of them in the description of this video. But here, I want to go over the components and changes to Viticulture Essentials Edition and the Essentials Edition Upgrade Pack. The Essentials Edition not only contains all the components necessary to play Viticulture, but also takes some of the expansion elements from Tuscany and builds them into the core gameplay. The designers feel that this will provide a more robust Viticulture experience without adding in some of the heavier elements of the full Tuscany expansion, which is still available and can be used in conjunction with this game, as we'll see later. But let's quickly go over the specific added elements and other changes to this edition. First, the cover of the box has been updated, and you can see it's been titled here, The Essential Edition. The rulebook has also been updated to be more detailed, and you can download it from a link that I'll add to the description of this video in case you have one of the game's previous editions. Otherwise, the core components remain the same as the second edition with lots of custom wooden pieces, glass beads, boards, and so on. However, in addition, you'll also find some new gameplay elements like these 36 Papa and Mama cards. In short, players will start the game with a Mama and Papa card during the setup, which dictates their starting resources, giving each player a unique starting position at the beginning of the game. Another expansion brought over from Tuscany and built into the core game are these field cards, and they allow a player to sell a field that they're not currently using in order to gain extra lira, but this limits how many grapes you can grow. Then later in the game, if you want the field back, you can pay the appropriate cost and return it to its original side and start growing grapes there again. The rules and cards necessary to play the game solo have also been included. The visitors have also been changed for this edition. In older versions, some were only useful at certain times, which meant if you drew them at the wrong time, they were rendered mostly useless. Any like that have been removed, and the advanced versions from the Tuscany edition have been added in, though they are no longer considered advanced, and this creates a new total of 76 unique visitor cards. Also, it should be noted this is the new version of the Promoter Visitor. It had one of its ands changed into an or. Finally, there are two rule changes to this edition that apply to all versions of Viticulture, and one of them you're going to find here right on the player board. It now says that you can only gain the one victory point bonus from the tasting room if you have at least one wine token in your cellar. You don't lose the token, you just have to have it there so your guests have wine to sample. Also, there's no longer a maximum score, which was previously 25 victory points. And the extra points you gain, you still count. If you own the second edition of Viticulture, you can upgrade your copy to the Essentials Edition by picking up the Viticulture Essentials Upgrade Pack. This includes all the elements we discussed, including the updated visitors, fields, mamas and papas, solo deck, and rules changes. And just to be clear, there's still a number of expansions inside of Tuscany, which I have laid out here, which are still currently only found in this Tuscany expansion. The nine patronage cards, the extended board with 36 wooden stars, special workers including 66 wooden meeples and 11 cards, the structures expansion with 36 cards and six player mats, the six player mats, 18 glass tokens, 18 cow tokens, six cheese seller tokens of the Formaggio expansion, six player mats, 18 cards and six wooden heart tokens of the Arboriculture expansion, the nine mafia cards, and the Euphoria crossover structures spoiler pack of 18 cards. Well, hopefully that was helpful, and it should reassure you that regardless of which edition you have, the instructional videos we've created here on this channel will still teach you how to play. And if you have any specific questions about these releases, I would direct you to the Stonemeyer website, and I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. But until the next episode, thanks for watching.